Do you often have difficulties catching fish during the winter? Do you often get skunked when everyone else is catching fish out there during the winter? Do you wake up in the morning and sleep at night? If you have any of those symptoms, you have come to the right place. For today is the beginning of the winter series. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Liu Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel, bringing you guys the first intro of 2021. And hopefully there's nobody around here, because if there is, they're probably wondering right now, what the heck is going on? So anyways, let's talk about today's video, huh? And the beginning of this new series that a lot of people have been expecting, right? You know, folks, one thing that I've never understood when it comes to fishing, sincerely, is that once November comes in the country, in the US of A, everyone starts to get terrified. I'm talking about the anglers, right? Water temperatures they start to drop from the 50s to the 40s. Comes December, the Christmas, the New Year, and then water temperatures they start to drop from the 40s to the 30s. Then everyone, or a majority, or a group of anglers out there, they're just shaking in their boots, you know? Oh, winter is coming! Well, plot twist, homie, this is not Game of Thrones, so what exactly are you afraid of? You know what I'm saying? So in today's video, we really only have one objective, one goal. EPF is going to show you, now that I am back here in Pennsylvania, welcome to the tundra, son. I'm going to show you that even when it is cold, it is like 37 degrees Fahrenheit out here today, the action can still be hot, hot, son. Remember that. And I mean, throughout the series, really, I'm going to be showing you guys that there are plenty of species out there to be caught during the winter. There are, there's plenty of action if you're just willing to get out of your couch, drop that popcorn, stop watching football, Eagles lost calls anyways, and just go out there and grind in the cold. You know what? I'm even going to add a side quest for today. Since this is the beginning of the new year, you know, you guys have been watching the Florida videos, right? Oh, shot in 2020, wonderful species, beautiful species, microfishing, new species. But this is really the first video of 2021, right? So we're going to attempt to catch my first fish of the year today as well, all right? Now, I'm here in one of my favorite winter holes. It is the D&R Canal in Mercer County, New Jersey. Got already my New Jersey fishing license, my Pennsylvania fishing license. I still have a valid Virginia fishing license, a Tennessee fishing license, a Florida fishing license, the New Jersey saltwater registry, right? I'm good to go. So let me just show you guys my gear for today real quick. And we're going to get started with this lane, son. Oh, now this right here is pretty, it's pretty interesting, you know? Mmm, I see. The unsub is someone who can blend in in the public. Hide in plain sight. I'm just mad. It's just a beaver, folks. It's a beaver, right? Anyways, let's go through the setup of the day, okay? We're going to do nothing too different than I regularly do on this YouTube channel. Uh, catch dinks. <laughs> I'm going to be using an ultralight setup. Suspend the jigging. Make sure that you read the description if you want to know every single component of this jig. We got a little Komal weighted float, right? And this is the secret, okay? It is very simple and yet very effective, all right? Ice fishing jig, Kinders Outdoors. I believe this is a 4mm size 14 hook, just tipped with a little piece of red wiggler. And I mean, the rest, do I really have to tell you guys? Just cast it down there, and when the fish bites, bro, send it to heaven. First thing we need to do is definitely change this leader. I'm going to set this float over here a little bit more down so that my bait is actually just a few inches off the bottom. This is actually a very, very short leader for suspended jigging. 
Uh, I guess I'm going to cast where the mallards are at. That was still the best spot around the area. If there's fish, they should be around there. The water is very, very shallow over here, but I think I just got a hit fish on. First fish of the day coming up. Water very, very shallow, but there's fish. There is fish. Oh man, first fish. Oh. <laughs> First fish 2021 is not a bluegill, son. It is not a bluegill. I thought it was going to be a bluegill. The Lepomis macrocutus, you guys know? Look at that, huh? Ice fishing jig. You can see the red on top of the mouth of the large mouth bass. Your typical signs of winter bass, right? Came with a bunch of grass too, because the water is pretty shallow. But first species of 2021 is here. First fish of 2021. We got ourselves here a little largemouth bass and the water is obviously cold as heck. Check it out, huh? We got ourselves here a tiny little largemouth bass. New Jersey little bass. Okay, the Micropterus salmoides, right? I'm just letting you know, this fish came out from 35 degrees water temperature. So like I told you guys at the beginning of this video, who is to say that once the water temperature drops, that nothing bites out there, right? Now you see what just happened in this video, huh? You guys see that? This is actually pretty important, right? The OG subs know about all this stuff already, but it is the beginning of a new year, so I feel entitled to take a minute to explain what the heck is going on here, right? When you have this show up on your screen, okay, which is very important, the number at the top, the purple number, actually indicates the number that the species was called in 2021, all right? So if the number over there, for example, is 50, that means that that was the 50th species, different species, that it was called this year, right? Since you guys see the number one, that means that the large mouth bass was the first species that I called this year. Below there, in the white, you know, you see my catch log. That is the number that the fish was called this year. If I, the number that was 500, that would have been the 500th fish that I called in 2021. Since this was my first fish of the year, well, that's why you guys see the number one. I think the name and the species is pretty self-explanatory for the science people, right? I correctly, I have correctly identified this fish in this video. And there is a number that you guys didn't really see, but it is also very, very important. We definitely want to see that number a lot this year, right? That is a number. If that number shows up in the video, it means that that is a species of fish that I have never called on hook and line before and therefore it is a new species for my life list, right? I am currently at 309 different species on my life list. You can access the hyperlink, it is always in the description of the video, right? And that is really the canon story of the YouTube channel, right? Everything else is really a filler, even this winter series. But <laughs> anyways, enough of that, let's release our little large mouth bass over here, okay? First fish of 2021 going back right where it belongs i would do an underwater release shot for you guys but you got to understand man i'm touching the fish already and it is pretty dark cold now here is epf's first winter fishing tip for you all when you go out there, and obviously this is my winter hole, so I knew there was going to be some fish over here, but winter time, the fish really like to school up and they stay around the structure. So chances are, if you go out there and you found a fish, you caught a fish, make sure that you spend some more time around the spot because chances are, there are more of them around there. Let's see if there's anything around this area. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Water is pretty shallow, but there's fish. There is fish. Mm-hmm, what we got here? Oh my goodness. Two casts, two different species. <laughs> you can't make this up, man. Little chain pickerel, the Azox Niger. 
second species of the day, tiny one, tiny one, you know, not big by any standards, but it is the second species of the day. And look, look how cold the water is, okay? My hand is already getting pink just from handling the fit. 35 degrees Fahrenheit, yeah, let's not forget. Anyways, very, very lively fish here in the live well. I am going to release it now, so follow me. I would really want to give you guys some underwater shots, but for real, you know, my hands are already freezing. Here we have it. Second species of 2021, little chain pickerel chilling right in front of us. As you guys can see, that's what's up. That's what's up. Everyone's like, oh, winter is coming. There's plenty of fish out here, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you just need to get out of your couch. All right, we are two species in, into the new year. And I have decided to set up a second road, right? I mean, the water is pretty shallow right here at my honey hole. So I kind of decided to just throw one of these right here at the main canal, right? Check it out. Just quick cast right in the center. Let it sink all the way down, which is not that deep at all. It is like five feet tops. Just set it up right over here. Two pieces of red wigglers. And I mean, I jig one rod. I soak bait with the other rod. I keep my options open right if the fishing is is low and let me tell you winter fishing is all about live bait in my personal opinion okay i prefer the red wigglers because the red wigglers they move so much more than the regular night crawlers that you get in the markets and that's why i tend to get the red wigglers but you can go with the bait of your choice wax worms super worms whatever you prefer right Let's go back to the jigging. I, I'm still trying to find my first bluegill of 2021. And let's hope that something hits that road right over there. I guess the most perplexing thing so far is that I thought for sure that my first species of 2021 was going to be a bluegill. And first one turned out to be a large mouth bass. Second cast right around here chain pickerel boy i'm not even sure that bluegill is going to show up now oh brothers and sisters that was a bite ladies and gentlemen we had a bite all the way back there i'm yelling because there's a train here but we had a bite all the way back there come on bluegill i think it was a bluegill Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh son, oh son, is it a bluegill? I don't know if it is a bluegill or not. <laughs> no, <laughs> you got to be kidding. No, what is this? This is a, oh man, that is short and fat, man. I forgot what's the name of word. What was that word again for short and fat? But anyways, right, short and fat ain't always bad. At least not in my books. Look at that. Mmm, little tiny largemouth bass, huh? Thought it was going to be a bluegill for sure. Decided to hit this side of the tree. I'm never too successful over here, but I mean, still looking for that first bluegill of 2021. Well, at least there are signs of life on this side of the tree. So, never hurts to give another cast, man. Never hurts. Eh, maybe there's a bass down there. Uh, Maybe lives together with his cousins, you know? Oh, that, no, that was a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit, guys. That's a hit. Fish on. Fish on. No, don't tell me it's another bass. What is going on here, man? Yo, legit. It's another largemouth bass. And this one is all messed up, too. Unbelievable, look at that. This side, you would think, mmm, pretty normal, huh? Oh, the other side of the doctor, though. Ho, ho, ho! What is that? 
let's put this guy down there ASAP, man, ASAP, okay? Go, 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 go and recover, buddy, ASAP, okay? I've been jigging this side of the Fallen 3 for a little while now. Trying to get another bite after those two large mount bass, right? See if there are any blue goo around the area. And so far, nothing. But you know what? This is the essence of winter fishing, right? It is that you have to cover a lot of water. I started on the other side of the tree. I decided to give it over there a break. So I moved on this side of the tree. Now I'm going to give this side a little break and I'm going to move back to the other side and cast everywhere to hopefully find some more species for today. Yeah, I'm pretty much done with this area. Let's move to the other side of the tree. Winter time, my fellow ladies and gentlemen. Look at all this, huh? If you go out there, please. Oh, that was, that's a hit, that's a hit, fish on. Is that my bluegill? Is that finally my bluegill coming up? <laughs> it's a... What the heck is going on? I mean, don't take me wrong. Don't take me wrong. I'm happy to see a crappie. I can feel it. I can feel it already. 2021 is going to be a very interesting year. Large mouth bass, chain pickerel, and now we got here a black crappie, the Pomoxis nigromaculatus, first one of 2021. This ain't a bluegill, but I tell you what, I will take a crappie any day, fellas. Any day, <laughs> you know? It's always a pleasure to see these little guys around here ah little crappie that makes it what three species in this video so far three species for 2021 and we haven't even caught a bluegill that is great news man oh we got a hit we got a hit on the other rod right over there. I actually put that rod on this side since it was getting no hit to the canal whatsoever. <laughs> Is there a fish on here? Is that my bluegill? Yeah, something's on. Bluegill? 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 Bluegill! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, man, bluegill, super lethargic, man. Didn't come up on the float. Didn't come up on the float. No problem. Ford species, Ford species of 2021, boy. It was definitely a good idea to move that rod from over there to over here. I think this is a great way of finishing our day here with this bluegill. Four different species of fish to start 2021. And I tell you what, right? The action was not like, ooh, so hot as I expect it to be. But check that out, huh? I mean, this is not a bad sized bluegill at all, okay? Pretty nice sized bluegill, right? If I was going to eat something out of here today, which I'm not, this would be it, okay? So let me release this little fella over here, all right? Uh, action was not like as hot as I thought it was going to be, but I tell you all what, right? Four species for 35 degrees Fahrenheit. That is not so bad. I think I've shown you guys in this video that even during the winter time, if you were just willing to get out of your house, there are at least four different species of fish in the United States of America willing to bite, right? I think this is really the lesson and the moral of this video. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people wake up in the morning, right? And I understand, I totally understand, you know, it is kind of cozy and warm in your house. And you start thinking, well, 
I'll probably go out there, it's 35 degrees, I'm not going to catch anything, right? And a lot of people, they give up before even stepping outside of the houses. Well, let me tell you something, this is the lesson here. You ain't never going to catch anything if you don't get your butt out of the couch. <laughs> I know it is common sense, but a lot of people don't do it. So anyways, hopefully this series is going to be a great incentive, good motivation for you to spend some time outdoors this winter. This is only the first video. I am going to be going to different spots uh, and show you that you can fish different spots, different environments to catch different species of fish, right? So it is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to include tips and hints so that hopefully you are going to become better when it comes to winter fishing. If you live in an area around the country where you don't really get 32, 35, 40 degrees Fahrenheit water temps or even ice during the winter, you never know. You watch the series and maybe in the future when you attempt it for the first time, you will finally be able to use that knowledge, right? And show your friends, hey, I watch EPF and I may not be catching giants, but I'm catching fish. <laughs> Anyways, this is it for today. I appreciate all you. I appreciate you all coming here and watching the video. Remember, fellas, everyone can go down to Florida, punch a shrimp in the water, and get the sergeant major swarm it and stuff like that. But not everyone can consistently catch fish during the winter time. All right, ponder upon it. Tight lines. I will see you all next time.